In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Lightmatica for Minecraft 1.21.6. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments, and it is going to bring you to a page where you're able to find all of the files and resources that you'll need to download Lightmatica, and it will also provide you with a written step-by-step -step guide. Alright guys, so now let's go ahead and start off by downloading Lightmatica for 1.21.6. So over here, already step number one, it is going to give you this GitHub link. So please go ahead and press on it. So once you're over here, please make sure you download the latest version. And as you're able to tell, yep, it does work for 1.21.6. So now all you want to do is you want to press on Lightmatica Fabric 1.21.6, just like so. And while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where you're able to play 24-7 with you and your friends in the brand new 1.21.6 update. Simple Game Hosting makes it incredibly easy to set up. You do not need any coding experience and you just need to press a couple of buttons. Best of all, you guys are able to spice things up really easily by adding mods and mod packs with the click of a single button. Every single mod pack you can think of, you are able to upload it to your Minecraft server with the click of a single button and you guys are able to go ahead and play with all of your friends. In fact, Simple Game Hosting is perfect if you want to play Lightmatica with you and all of your friends. And best of all, there's 24-7 customer support and also across the entire site there is 25% off your very first month of Minecraft server hosting. So guys, if this is something you're interested in, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. All right, and then afterwards, what you want to do is you want to go back to the website and now you need to download the modlib mod right over here. So underneath step number two, you're going to get the direct download over here. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this GitHub link. So this is another mod that we need to download in order for Lightmatica to work. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on the latest version. Then you want to press on mylib fabric and then 1.21.6. And then there you go. We will now have these two files. Anyways, guys, what you want to do from here is you want to head back to the website. And this time you need to go ahead and install fabric for Minecraft 1.21.6 because Lightmatica is technically considered a Minecraft mod. So you will need to install a mod loader. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on the fabricmc.net website right over here. Then it is going to go ahead and bring you to a page that looks like this. And you want to go ahead and press on download universal jar. Now, depending on your web browser, you may be able to see all the files on the top right, just like so. However, if you do not see your files over here, do not worry because you can always go ahead and open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads. Anyways, guys, what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and head back over to the website. And this time we need to double check that we do have Java 21 installed. So in order to run mods, shaders, basically anything Minecraft related, you will need to have installed Java on your system. So underneath step number four, you're going to see this link over here that says like oracle.com. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on that. Then it is going to bring you to a website that looks like this. And you want to make sure that JDK21 is actually selected. And then from here, you guys can go ahead and pick your operating system. So we could download Java for Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows. So I would go ahead and select on Windows. Then I would get the x64 installer right over here. And then it is going to walk you through the entire setup wizard, which really doesn't take too long. And it's incredibly easy to download Java. But guys, if you're having trouble downloading Java, then what I personally recommend that you guys do is download and run the jar fix. The jar fix is an executable file that will attempt to repair all the dot jar files on your system and basically make Minecraft Java edition work. So Underneath step number five, you're going to see this link over here. All you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on that. And then it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this. And you just want to go ahead and press on jarfix.exe. And then after you're done with that, you just want to go ahead and run the file. So again, it's always good to know about this, even if Java is working perfectly fine, just in case Java gives you issues in the future. All right, guys. Now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and drag and drop all the files to your desktop, just like so. And I personally recommend that you guys do this because it will just make the process significantly easier. All right, guys, then you want to go ahead and minimize the web browser. So at the moment, we should have these three files right over here. The fabric installer, Lightmatica and my lab lab uh, fabric right over here. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and right click on fabric installer. Then you want to go ahead and press on open with. And if you do have Java installed on your system, you should see this option that says Java TM platform SE binary. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on that. Then you're going to get a page that looks like this and make sure that where it says Minecraft version that 1.21.6 is actually selected and make sure that this box that says create profile is turned on. Then you just want to go ahead and press on install. Once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on OK. And once you're done with that, feel free to go ahead and close out the fabric installer. And now you just want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. 
All right, guys, once you're back in the Minecraft launcher, please make sure that Java Edition is selected. And now all you want to do is you want to go to the top menu and select on installations. Now over here where it says versions, please make sure that the box that says modded is actually turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of Minecraft. But anyways, guys, you should now go ahead and find Fabric Loader 1.21.6 in this list right over here. So please go ahead and locate it. Once you went ahead and found it, all you want to do is you want to go to the right and press on this folder icon that says open installations folder. Then you're going to get a bunch of folders that look like this, but do not worry. The only folder we need to go ahead and focus on is the folder called mods in all lowercase. And if for whatever reason you aren't able to find the mods folder, then you can go ahead and just right click on it, press on new, then press on new folder and call it mods in all lowercase. But anyways, guys, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just open up the mods folder and you will notice that it is actually empty. So here's what we're going to be doing now. We're going to go ahead and minimize the Minecraft launcher. And now we're going to drag and drop both the light Matica file and we're also going to go ahead and drag and drop the my lip fabric mod right over here and then there you go they will now be both in here once you're done with that feel free to go ahead and close out of that return to the minecraft launcher go over here to where it says play in the version selector double check that fabric loader 1.21.6 is actually selected then you want to go ahead and press on play all right guys and then eventually you should be loaded into minecraft 1.21.6 yep it will say so in the bottom left just like so and now all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and just load into any minecraft world all right guys so here we are in minecraft and in order to get started all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just get your hands on a stick and then from here you guys can go ahead and begin using the light matica mod Again, guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.